this site is is quite large, 60 hectares. All the woodland that you see in front of you is new woodland that's been planted from about 1993 till about 1996. Oh, nearly at the top now. <laughs> I've forgotten how steep this hill is. It's important to get up here though because you get the best views of the whole site. We know there's very little accessible woodland, certainly not enough to meet the needs of all of the UK population. We come here like every day, uh, been coming for about three years and the dog, dogs love to run round and we quite enjoy it. It's been very handy, it has. It has and this time of year it's quite nice to walk round. Everything's just bursting into growth, isn't it? This is probably, say, no more than 15 years old, but as you can see, it's completely transformed the landscape. In standing here, it's sort of a quite a salutary lesson, really, reminding us that trees can do a pretty good job at shielding out a lot of the things that are part of our everyday lives. Uh, we're just a few hundred yards from quite a busy little rat run between Grantham and the A52, and we're also only just a, literally a few hundred metres from the edge of a, of a big industrial estate, and beyond that quite a lot of housing and yet for all, to all intents and purposes we could be in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the country miles and miles from a main road it is just background noise and that screening is really really important very particularly important if you're uh, living in urban areas and uh, trees can have a, a marked, marked effect on cutting out some of the noise of everyday living which uh, grinds us all down from time to time the chiff chaff in the middle of spring, the side of spring. I mean, look at that, isn't it fantastic? That's a, that's a proper forest, that is. There's probably two or three trees down there that I planted, and they're all still alive, which is even more amazing. <laughs> it's, it's places like this that allow us to link up bits of woodland, to link up woodland to open areas of grassland, to provide a kind of pathway of connected spaces across the country, which means that wildlife can move in response to climate change. And we know from the work that we've done on, on, uh, on, on mapping all of this that we certainly need several more tens of thousands of hectares to get anything like a really good woodland network across the UK. So if you add all of that together, and you think about all the other reasons that woods are really, really good, such as water management, cleaning the air, particularly in urban areas, um, carbon sequestration, all of, the th all of the services, all of the benefits that woods provide, um, you get to a st stage of thinking, we need to double the amount of, of uh, native woodland cover. Woods like these, full of ash, oak, cherry, hawthorn, wild service trees, all the fantastic native trees and types of plants in the UK that we've been losing over many, many decades. Isn't it fantastic? Hilary, how does it feel to be part of growing the future like this, having actually planted these woods yourself? Not on your own. No, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> no, it feels, it feels really fantastic. It feels like you, you have genuinely done your bit for the future that you have done not just for your children um, but for other people's children and for their children too because these woods will last for hundreds of years we hope and uh, it feels quite humbling really to have been part, part of putting a little tiny sapling in the ground and then for it to have transformed the whole landscape into this wonderful environment. I mean, for a couple of minutes work what a legacy.